Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul in Northern California. And my beautiful, lovely wife, Gail Maxson. Yes, you're just saying that because I made you turkey, bacon, and cheese cakes. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's sitting right here. So she took flour tortilla and cooked turkey bacon and then put cheese in there and made it like a quesadilla thing. And it is good. But nonetheless, on with the information. Let me show you something real quick. So I was looking at this video I just made. The white rock, the the white hot rocket and the white horse rapture tribulation. And I saw this brother, I think it's Stive. You know, I was telling my wife, I said, see this brother right here? He's been commenting on my videos for years. And I just recently found out he's in Israel. Brother right here, Steve Rice. Is it Stive Rosen, brother? And uh, Stive Rosen, and, and where exactly are you at? in Israel he says think Seoul South Korea in trouble as Seoul and Sheol which means hell in the Bible in Hebrew spelled the same in Hebrew letters pray for them because they're they're in distance they they're in within like 30 minutes striking distance or 30 miles or something like that from uh, North Korea by missile so as I was reading, I kid you not, my wife will bear witness. As I was reading his name, I said something. I said, I think he's from Jerusalem. And then instantly, my heart must have stopped, y'all. I'm not kidding. My heart must have just jumped, leaped in my chest. Because I go, oh, my. And Gail probably thought, I, I don't know what she thought. But, uh. She's being kind of quiet back there. It's making me nervous, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, because you go, oh, I remember my dream. So. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, joy is a good thing, amen. And I remembered my dream, so I immediately wanted to make this video. Seriously, this is serious, uh, y'all. When watchmen start having dreams of being in Jerusalem, man, you know something's around the corner. Well, and you remembered it after you said his name, and it just kind of keeps flooding back. To as you. soon as as soon as I read the name Stive Rosen, the whole dream came flooding back to me in an, in a twinkling of an eye. I mean, instantly the whole dream. So I decided to hit record and uh, and play on from there. So in my dream, I'm at the border of Jerusalem it's really strange because there's there's a border help me Lord let me visualize it in my head there's there's a border to go north there's a line of people with this guy and the guy is like in charge of the border and he answers all your questions he'll tell you get in the line get in the line get in the line but I was at I was at a a point of two borders in Jerusalem and so one of them went one of them went west out like towards the ocean from Jerusalem and it had a, like a line like a car when it would come up to a stop sign and it had a stop sign but it was it didn't say stop it said something in Hebrew and then it, and and then and then you had the guy and you had people lined up and I'm not, they're all lined up to go one way and I'm lined up to go this other way in Jerusalem, right? And, and I'm asking the guy, well, where exactly does Jerusalem start? You know, because it was almost like we're, we're only allowed in Jerusalem at certain times. You know, you couldn't just, they would have took action against you. In other words, if you would have just crossed that line and just walked right into Jerusalem. We're at the border, and there's people lined up to go also into Jerusalem. And he said, right there where you're standing. So in other words, if I had crossed that line, I'd have been heading into West Jerusalem. And as I looked the other way, there was people standing in line to go to North, North Jerusalem. It was also strange, but we weren't allowed to go. We were waiting for a set time. We were waiting for the, the one guy. There was this one guy there in charge of the whole border. Just one guy. No weapons or anything. He didn't have any guns or 
anything. He didn't even have any special uh, border control clothes or anything. He just had this brown suit on, like. And as soon as he said, then the borders would open and we could go into Israel. And everybody was going to go north, but I was going to go west. And I was like one foot away from Jerusalem. Isn't that the strangest dream to be having? So I want to know, what are your thoughts? What are your comments? I get so much out of tape. I get so much insight from others when I read through all the comments. You know, let me have some comments and thoughts on on this. I mean, like Gail, Ma Gail Maxson. Yes. Uh, <laughs> don't go too silent on me. You're making me nervous. Uh, what are your thoughts on this dream? Anything? It's one of those dreams you'll just never forget. Well, it's, Anything? Uh, Jesus is coming back to Jerusalem. There, so maybe it's just waiting to the right time. Waiting for the right time for Jesus to come back to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. I agree with that. And also, I like to share my thoughts. One thing, one thing I instantly thought was this has something to do with the two witnesses in Jerusalem. And waiting for the right time for them to show up on the scene in Jerusalem. What do you think? God bless you. Shabbat Shalom.